My name is Ty French, and these are my rants. Welcome to Ty Rants. Hello, 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 fans. I'm so excited to be here with you guys. I was so happy that I could take the time out of my super busy schedule. You guys know I've just been rocking the stage at Arrowhead every weekend this year. You guys know I'm on my international triple acclaimed world tour called the Bad Guy Tour. And I'm so, so stoked to be here with you guys today to give you the first episode of Bodyguard Brains, which is a new segment put on by Vogue um, where you guys get a little inside scoop to your favorite pop stars, <laughs> me, Justin James, an insight into their bodyguards. Because you know what? Every time you see me just look so sexy, so stunning. Sorry, I didn't mean to get so passionate. Um, producer, can we, can we cut that clip? Can we start that clip over? Okay. Every time you see me looking so gorgeous, in a paparazzi photo, you see these two guys right here. These two guys have laid out their lives on the line for me. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. I'm gonna keep it real. In order to protect myself in case one of themselves get hurt, um, I don't want that to hurt my emotions because my, my concert's just too important to me. I can't let that affect anything if one of them, you know, gets harmed on duty. So I actually don't know that much about them either. I don't even know their first names. Um, so, uh, Gentlemen, why don't you introduce yourselves? Well, I know you as thing one and thing two. Hmm. Okay, so I didn't know about that nickname, but it is, I guess that works. Um, I mean, well, first of all, whatever you fancy. Thank you for having us here. Uh, this is very fancy. I've never seen so many bright lights. I put on makeup for the first time today. Uh, they put a little something powder on me. Uh, I'm Chester, and uh, you want to introduce yourself, Jassy? Yeah. I'm Jasper. Um, I was not aware of the nicknames either, but. Um, I'm Jasper. Chester and I have known each other for over 25 years. We've been friends. We've been co well, not co-workers, but co-owners rather. Yeah. In a family-owned business, we're not family, but we like to pretty much say, you know, family-owned and operated. It because, sounds better to the customers. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if we're going to be honest, that's yeah. what it is. Um, recently sold the company and decided to become bodyguards. So that's why we're here today. We love Justin. And we we didn't know he didn't know our names, but <laughs> hey, God. hey, hey, man! It's nothing against you. It's just you know, if one of you get hurt, gets hurt and I have to go perform, that would make me so emotional, and my fans hate to see me cry. Uh, I oh. think they like seeing you cry. Actually, I've said they seem to cry a lot. Yeah, um, when they on TikTok, I've been seeing a lot of edits of people crying at your concerts. Actually, at the side of you, it's very bizarre. Yeah, my daughter very, says the same thing. We she can't quite it. figure it out. These kids these days. Yeah, but uh, we're. We're very honored to be here yeah. at this uh, fancy schmancy little video. It's a pleasure. Um, at Vogue. Is that, is that how you say it? I think it? Vogue or Vogue. Yeah, honor to protect Justin. Um, we're always going to be here for you, bro. And uh, yeah, I think that about wraps it up for us. I'm just so, so happy, like I said, to be the first person to be doing this new interview series. You know, there's all these YouTube shows. I don't know if you guys watch them, you know, there's hot ones. Uh, How dumb is that? I don't ring a bell. Mm -hmm. And, um, bell you know, me. this is a new one, Bodyguard Brains, because, like I said, you see these guys in all my photos. Are they smart or are they dumb? And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's... Um, I think I'm smart. Well, I hope you're smart. Yeah, we're smart. Uh, we're fast, we're strong, we're, we're smart, and uh, we're very agile for our age. I got these trusty old boots on. Um, they make me very strong and fast and very intimidating, in my opinion. I have loafers on, which um, you they might look, think... They look maybe a size too big for you there, Jazzy. Right. Well, you might think that I wouldn't be able to move around very fast in these, but you'd be mistaken. Uh, my daughter said something about Haley Bieber making loafers popular again. I said, honey... I what did know. I tell you about bringing up my ex-girlfriend? Oh, we're I so did, sorry, oh, Justin. So sorry. Can we, we cut, cut that? that? Producer, cut that. Cut that. We, we address her as ex-girlfriend number four. Okay. Um, and you know what? I will keep that in mind for next time, and I'm very, very sorry. As I was saying about the loafers, um, <laughs> I got them from, what is that, Burlington? 
Slate. Burlington Jacket Factory, I Jacket believe. Jacket Factory, and I bought these. They were on sale, but they fit really well and surprisingly can move around great in them. So they're great for the security job, for, you know, all the running we have to do after these silly fans. I mean, beautiful My fans, fans. they mean so much to me. They are not silly. Of beautiful, course, gorgeous, of course, of course. Of course. That's yeah. what I meant. Um, I only heard Justin say great things about his fans. Um, and he really does care for you guys. So... Yeah, um, I'm sorry. I'm just nervous. I'm a little nervous. We haven't been on camera before. Let's face it. You know, We're guys like this, this, they're not used to the, the bright lights and the attention. The glitz and the glam. Like I am. But I'm so glad that I was able to, you know, get some community hours done from my DUI. Oh, I'm not supposed to tell them. That this. Um, oh. Yeah, uh, I'm just so excited that I got to know get to know you guys a little bit better. Yeah, we're, of course. We're a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yeah, it's and a pleasure. What better season? to do this then my favorite season at all do you boys know what that is um, i think it was fall football season both correct i okay. love football and i love fall but what comes with those halloween <laughs> happy halloween my fans i'm so excited that this is going to be a halloween spectacular trivia game where i ask <laughs> these two idiots they want to think is too that, is that the gimmick like that, is this part of the bit? yeah i know this part of the bit this part of it okay um uh. I got to ask these two boys, uh, you know, what they know about Halloween. And I love educating my fans and the youth. I just really find it important to give back, not only to my fans with beautiful music, but um, with education as well. So just feel free to be listening along and, you know, answering these questions also. Um, okay. Do you want to, before we get into it, um, you know, since I, I love to talk about my tour, you guys can go um, online and get tickets for that right now. But why don't you tell my fandom uh your favorite thing about going on tour with me justin james well it's a lot of fun um there's lots of loud noises coming from the tour bus um <laughs> lots of mysterious powders floating around it's very mystical very mysterious it's perfect for the ho the holiday season yeah, the halloween very spooky. season very spooky um sometimes yelling screaming you know throwing things out um just uh, the normal yeah, yeah, yeah i mean you know, I think you're just having a good time in there. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, uh, yeah, my my dad was, he was confused about something and he was having a, you know, he's freaking out. That wasn't me. I know we, we, we sound, we sound really similar, I know. Yeah. But that wasn't me yelling. That was, that okay. was my dad. I know you've never met you him. You were the one saying you should know who I am. Why would you treat me like that? Uh, Don't you know um, who I am? You brought me chocolate chip and I asked for a snickerdoodle. Yeah, yeah. At the no, hotel staff. Yeah, no, my, my dad loves chocolate, you see. Oh, okay. and And my assistant... Tiffany, she she messed up his um his blizzard order. Is that the one you order. call the the blonde bitch or which one is that? Uh, um, okay, uh, wait, they're editing this <laughs> interview, right? Like we'll be able to get final say. Okay, great. So we'll we'll cut I'm that. I'm sorry, out as well. I, um, I don't know what I'm supposed to. say. I'm feeling. Chester, I'm I told so you sorry. before this interview to make me look good. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got a worldwide tour. The, the tickets aren't selling that I, good. I thought that was gonna be like. Why do you think they made me do this dumb stupid video? I thought that this was the bad guy. I'm supposed to look like I'm like, I'm homies with all my employees and that I don't treat people bad. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's why I had to do community service in the first place. I don't have anything good to. Okay. I pushed my assistant down the stairs. Okay. That's dumb bitch number two. <laughs> okay, I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, it's really great. We get to go along to amazing places, don't we, Jasper? Yes. <laughs> I personally, if you ask what my favorite part is, I love the traveling aspect. I haven't traveled much. Uh, and of last... course, we're in the back of the plane by the, the toilets, but it doesn't but matter. But it doesn't matter. We can't recline our seats and we get no rights, really. But no. who cares? Yeah, who um, cares? We... When we sleep on the cardboard boxes but outside. Justin always hotel... treats us great. Hey, yeah. hey what I say? What I say? If you get sick, I'll pay for your urgent care bill. <laughs> Oh, what I say? Who needs insurance, right? <laughs> when I got very, very sick, he did um, lend me, I think, a band aid or two, even though it was a sinus infection. Hey, but it still that, helped. Hey, and that was my last band aid. Yeah. Well, you are very He's kind. He's a very generous soul. And that's what people wouldn't know about him from, I guess, that's from, the, true. The, from a different perspective. Ah, come on. If you haven't seen him, you might not know how good of a person <sighs> he is inside and out. But thank you for letting us travel with you. And yeah, just having all the. The really cool experiences, even with the yelling and stuff. It, it, that's like, like they say, family, we scream and shout, you know? And you guys, you guys are my family. When we're on the road, we all fam. Yeah, in the club, we all are fam. And I do, I really do believe that as well. What are you saying? In the club, we all fam. Jasper. What? I in the club, you, we are all family. Are you racist? 
Jasper, I told you that my new single coming out next week is called In the Club, and we were supposed to drop hints of it in this. I gotta keep up with the Swift Nation. Yeah, right, I, I gotta keep up with Taylor Swift. We're supposed oh, to be dropping gosh. hints. My fans, they're keeping, oh, you know. The Easter eggs. Easter, I heard the kids exactly. talking about Easter eggs. Oh, you yeah, drop them, yeah. and then the real, real loyal fans, they start to catch on. Yeah, and, and then know. they make TikToks, and you, it's a marketing scheme. Exactly. They know. It's to like distract an MLM. from the TikTok going around exactly. of you screaming at your fan who exactly. um, accidentally stepped on your toe and ruined your new shoes. Uh, I can't I talk about that. Because Jasper, stop bringing matter, up so. when he's. I'm not Jasper, so I don't know if you're talking about yourself. Chester. Did you guys drink before this? Oh, no. You keep forgetting your damn name, Jasper. I thought that this was the bad guy tour. I thought you wanted us to give you an edge. Like, we want to make you seem <sighs> Fuck, a little... Fuck, you're so right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I got the wrong idea. I'm okay, sorry. Anyways, it's I'm okay. Sorry. This, it's is a, this is a first edition. Oh, oh. It's Just not stop. like that. Are you guys gay? It, it's not hey, like it's that. not like that, bud. Okay, we look... Guess what? I mean, I love everyone. I'm, I'm clearly not gay, but yeah, but I, I love the LGBTQ community. If, are you an ally? I I would like to say that I have a gay friend. Okay. okay. Yeah. He's an ally then. And and, and, an and now ally. maybe you too. So I employ gay people. Okay. I mean, I mean, we're going through I don't know how personal we want to get on the show on the bodyguard brains. <laughs> we are both Chester. I'm sorry you brought it up. I can't. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Chester. You're ruining his damn show. I know. I'm so sorry. Can we We're talk? both going through divorces. Okay. We're single. We're single and ready to mingle, ladies. I'm not gay. <laughs> but if, but just, just so we're clear, I love all my gay fans in the LGBT community. Um, I like. I feel like we all know each other a lot better now. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I feel like I opened up a lot, and so did Chester. Yeah, I'm we're really, happy to be you. here. I'm really thank glad you, for, you guys thank um, you for the safe are here. Space. Thanks so much for helping me open this new segment, uh, Bodyguard Brain. Should we get into the trivia? Let's get into the meat and potatoes. <laughs> we're ready. <laughs> What did I say about mentioning carbs? You know I'm on a no carb diet right now. Sorry. Now I want some potatoes. I meant, uh, I meant. We're getting okay. Cut that. I'm so sorry. Tiffany, make sure I have some potatoes after this. We're getting into the liver and supplements. Okay. No. Bang. Um, we're getting in. That's my guy. I always knew you were my favorite Chester. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Uh, let's get into the. You, uh, let's get into you the meat of today's Jasper. episode. <laughs> One more time. I did not clean that. Oh, I thought you called me Jasper. <laughs> I cannot get it through my head which one to do it. <laughs> Your name starts with a J. I know. Okay. In my head, I always say Jasper. First. Anyways, anyway. enough of this, enough of this, enough of this. Let's get into what everyone's here today to talk about. Well, not me, not me. Um, Halloween and some trivia. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I signed up for the show. I haven't read any of these questions yet. So uh, oh, we're going to wow. figure out these trivia questions together. Um, What's that? Okay, false oh. alarm. Security breach? Something? No, it, it, um, no one's actually guarding you right now. So, because <laughs> we had to sit down for this, so I, we just got to make sure. We're Where's three, 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 <laughs> Where's three, 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 and four? Are you okay? <laughs> think three and three, uh, <laughs> think three and think four. My other two bodyguards. I'm the only one who can talk. You go <laughs> My other two bodyguards. Where what? the heck did they go? Um, I don't. Where did oh, they what? go? What are you talking about? <laughs> Okay, let's get into these questions. Um, You're the only one with the bodyguard Don't brains. piss me off today, Chester. Okay, so uh, <laughs> question number one. Halloween trivia. Spooktacular. Sorry, they made me fucking say that. Tiffany, cut that part out. Question number one. Where does the term jack-o'-lantern come from? Oh, hmm. man. Hmm. I'm going to guess. Um, I'm going to guess a guy named Jack made it up. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay. A lantern because you put the candle inside, it looks like a lantern. And I don't, maybe back in the day they didn't have glass to make real lantern, lanterns, so they used a pumpkin because they were on the pumpkin fields. The you know, pumpkin fields is crazy. <laughs> the term jack-o'-lantern originates from an Irish folk tale about a cheap man named Stinky Jack who made a deal that with the devil. Like me. <laughs> don't I know that? I mean, guys, in Hollywood, everyone says, oh, you worship the devil. You sold your soul to Satan. Going, You're part of the Illuminati. Just know, just know. <laughs> if I do, I look like the type of guy that would sell my soul to the devil. I'm way too nice. Yes. I could never be a part of the Illuminati. Um. <laughs> anyways, <laughs> um, question number go. two. Allegedly, allegedly. Thank you, Beyonce. Beyonce, thank you. I love you, Jasper. You ready for your next question? 
I'm ready. Question number two. Uh, you can answer this too. I, I just figured since you've been carrying the weight, uh, you too. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. What do you have uh, against me, Justin? I don't want to get too confrontational now on the podcast, but I mean, it's, it's not a podcast. It's a very special podcast. Jasper, show. you've been just not pulling your weight. You don't even know your damn name, okay? You're skating on thin ass. You're Chester, it's in Chester's contract that it's you two or nothing. You're lucky that he's been a good friend to you because you're skating on thin ice. And that thin ice should be in my margarita, not you skating on it. Okay. Anyways. I mean, you got me there with the forgetfulness, the forgetful nature that I, my, that is why my wife was, is divorcing me. Well, she already divorced me. The divorce is almost final. I told you guys I'm single and I'm not gay. You're forgetting shit. Are you divorced or not? <laughs> Are you gay or not? <laughs> I am I'm divorced and now I am well. gay. I mean, I'm not. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I am gay. I mean, what is happening? <laughs> okay. You got me there, though. I will try and be, listen, I want to protect you at the end of the day. And, and that's I, all we really And need. I want to be family with y'all in the club. Does that, was that right? Was that good? <laughs> Thanks, I do Thanks man. Thanks, man. <laughs> right. Okay, um. Anyways, okay, so we'll cut that all out, right? Okay, anyways. Okay, question number two. Where is the world's longest haunted house? Is this my question? Is that uh, Uh, the answer? It's up for grabs. Uh, We're all doing uh, it. Longest? Longest. The answer, uh, what is in my pants? (laughs) (laughs) This is in Jeopardy. I really respect it. (laughs) Now you're Southern? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, hey, yeah, I really respected how you, you know, answered that question. <laughs> However, the only, the only, you know, southern region parts oh. I really want to highlight is mine. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. And I don't want my fans to think yours is bigger. Is this? Oh, okay. Is this part I will be never release my name. No, cut? no, we're going to cut this part. Oh, okay. Because, you know, I don't want them to think like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. my bodyguards have got a big schlong. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you don't want them to think of us like that because you care about us, right? Yeah. Is that yeah, what it was? Exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly. We'll never release the nudes that we have because then they can compare them to yours that have been leaked multiple times. Don't bring that up. <laughs> yes, now no. you're skating on thin ice, bitch. <laughs> Woo! Until you, until you answer correctly, you're going back <laughs> by a thing, too. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Tiffany, cut that. Okay, sorry. The world's longest. Awesome. <laughs> Where is house. it? Oh, wait, can I guess? Yeah, please. Um... I'm going to guess that it is in Virginia. Actually, maybe. Now, that's a darn good guess. That was actually a pretty good guess. I'm going to guess Massachusetts. Salem, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Come here. Wow. I'm, come on. <laughs> come on now. Dap me up. <sighs> <laughs> hey, hey. Don't make me get Tiffany in here. Sorry. <laughs> You guys will be guys. You know we had boys. To, you know you boys. Know boys. Be you know boys. We had to do a little arm wrestle. <laughs> that, looked the cameras. A little, that looked a little gay to me. Oh but. my. <laughs> Are you homophobic? Are you? My like daughter I said, t- I have a gay friend. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, you're, you're good, good then. Uh, and of course, I'm definitely not gay. Look at my skinny jeans. Yeah, those are screaming straight. <laughs> there. Yeah. You know, my inspo is Justin Timberlake. Really following in his footsteps. Oh. 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 Cut that, Tiffany. Cut that, <laughs> Uh, okay, I don't know. Trust I don't know. Me. I don't know why that would need to be cut, trust but you know, me. You I, I, about that I, tr- Look, I trust my trust boys. Me. So, uh, anyways, the answer to the world's longest haunted house is the haunted cave in Lewisburg, Ohio, and it's three thousand five hundred and sixty-four feet long. Wow! And, wow! Guys, get this part. Get this part. It's located eighty feet underground. Okay. Wait, so you're telling me it's the New York subway? (laughs) 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 3,000 feet long, 80 feet on the ground, sounds like the L train. (laughs) Yeah, that's funny. (laughs) Not that I would know, I've never been on the subway. I only take, you know, black cars and limos. You guys would know, though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, you treat us real nice and... I just like you to be well-rounded, you know, scope out. Scope out the city before, you know, protect me. Protection. Uh Uh Uh-huh. I'm all about protection. Yeah, yeah. Especially when I'm, you know, with girls. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, we gotta and protect we understand everyone. that. We gotta protect our boy, and we understand that. Thank so, you. Thank yeah, you. we put Anyways, our life on the line. So, are you gonna go to that haunted house anytime, or uh, you gonna take a girl there? <laughs> <laughs> you know, what? I actually, or might. that's a great date because you can be a little bit, you know, protective. Maybe I'll take Selena Gomez. I mean, I mean, um, oh my god, oh my god, I mean, uh, not this again. Uh, I mean, Roller. I would never take her back, and um, you know, but we are going. You know, my, my tour, the bad guy tour, we're making a pit stop in Ohio. So maybe we can, maybe if we have a, some time off in between shows, between Friday and Sunday, 
I'll take you guys. We would love to that? go. We, we, we would love, love to, to have we, fun. We would love to have fun, and we would love to protect you while you're in the haunted house. Don't Good. worry. We have our earpieces on. So yeah. if anybody tries to do one of those, I don't know if it's an interactive one, but if they try and grab you or something mm -hmm. like that, don't you worry <sighs> at all. Good. And we always want you to have peace of mind, don't we? Always. You, we always want you to have peace of mind. Don't worry about what's behind you. What's in front of you, what's the side of you, and what's in your past, okay? We're protecting you from everything. And what's in his pants? <gasps> your purple. His past, yeah. sir. I would never talk about that. I'm an established, I'm a distinguished gentleman, okay? okay? okay. I said in his past because he does have lots of things in his past. Criminal records, um, you know, like I said, leaked things. There's lots of things in his past you could dig up. Probably some we don't even know about that the internet has not even seen yeah, yet. If you, but if you dig far enough, you will be able to probably, find it. Probably, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, um... I forgot to tell you guys, maybe Tiffany was going to mention this after. Uh, you guys actually go to uh, IT training next week because I need you guys to not only protect me in a physical sense, but oh. I need you guys to really go against the hackers and make sure that, you know, when people make fake, obviously very fake AI, AI photos yeah. of me in, you know, scary situations that are obviously fake, I need you guys to, you know, hack in and delete them. Gotcha. All oh, right, right, right. I, I, I have no problem doing Don't that. Don't worry, I'll add it to your contracts. We'll, we'll figure out. Maybe, maybe I'll... Pay for two urgent care visits now. It, oh, that you know, would be real nice. We don't have to share the bill and pretend. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. anyways, anyways. Nice. We're, we're here for that. Would be Come really on. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Next Tiffany, question. I'm ready. Tiffany, we would love benefits soon as well. Yeah. Maybe we could bring that up with Tiffany. Yeah. If we could have in some sort of insurance and maybe or some uh, maybe a, a raise a from minimum wage. Or what do they call that? A, uh, something for food. Mm, yeah, rations of food. Yeah, that yeah, would yeah, be yeah. nice. I'm extremely hungry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I could, I could maybe give you guys like a coupon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we for what? Coupons. I've heard Wendy's now has like a five for five. Oh, oh we I, love that. I love all those things you put in your keychain for a free Frosty. Yeah. If we could if we could arrange that, that Chester, would be amazing. You finish this interview good, I'm going to get you a Frosty. Okay, I will love a Frosty. Thank you very Can much. Can I get one like as I said, well? Or I'll share. Like I said, my team is family to me. Anyways, uh, next question here because uh, I guess we're, you know, they're kind of in my earpiece telling me we got to hurry. Oh, and okay. They don't really care about <laughs> your guys' contracts. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. Sure. Hold on. Someone talking to you? <laughs> An intruder. An intruder? No. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. False alarm. Influencer. Influencer. They said. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. The ladies that can't stay away from me. Wow. About a lady. <laughs> okay. okay. Moving yeah, on. Next moving question. On. Next question. Uh, Halloween trivia here with uh, Bodyguard Brains. We got: Why did women look in mirrors while walking downstairs at midnight on Halloween? I'm sorry. <laughs> um, uh, sorry, these, these are just questions that um, they gave me. I didn't know. I mean, women are doing all sorts of spooky, spooky things all the time. I mean, you guys, you guys say you guys get around. So I don't know. If you, if you had a you lady and she was walking downstairs on Halloween, what would she be going for? Um, probably summoning, the candy basket. <laughs> summoning a demon or something. Is she looking behind her for Bloody Mary? <laughs> And um, actually, on our way to get a Bloody Mary in the kitchen. <laughs> nice. Just give us the answer. The answer is actually um, the oh, stupidest God. question I've ever heard. To see their boyfriends. <laughs> to see their boyfriends? Oh, no. Excuse what is this me. <laughs> I will not be looking at the mirror. Not that I'm we're, a woman. We're working but. through, um, you know, I, I'm kind of like a guinea pig, as they say, um, working through some of the questions. So obviously, Tiffany will cut that one. Um, All right. How many pounds of candy corn are produced each year? Now, you guys know. You guys know. What's the one thing that's got me on my tour bus at all times? Candy corn. Candy I love candy corn. corn. And, you know, if you see a slide under this that says sponsored by candy corn, I'm not just saying I love candy corn because I'm being paid. And then I'm the spokesperson of the year. I really love little tiny candy that looks like corn and tastes like sweet sugary goodness. And has layers. Mm. It's like um, an ogre. Hmm. Okay. Well, so how many pounds, huh? I mean, think about how many pounds I order just for the tour. Right. I mean, whatever then, they you sent know. you. I'm going to say 15,000 <laughs> pounds. You're an idiot. You're not even close. You're an idiot. And let me <laughs> answer. I'm going to go with 20 million. Okay. Oh. Okay, Jasper. You're close. All right. Um, 35 million pounds. Oh, my gosh. Amounting to about 9 billion pieces. Wow. Wait, if there's only 9 billion pieces and it's 35 billion pounds, does that mean each corn weighs we about need 2 to, million pounds? We don't need to get into all two the, million the, the, the ins I don't know. and outs. I'm an artist, not a mathematician. I would say they each weigh about half an ounce. Okay. Well, as you just guessed, 15,000, we're not taking your word for it, are we? <laughs> we're not. Clearly we're not, not good with numbers. I mean, I'm not good with numbers. I'm no accountant. I was the accountant for our old company. Yeah, um, that's why I we had went no under. background and I did it, uh, allegedly embezzle some money. So, 
It's because I'm not good at numbers. Why do you think we're here doing this? Because we're honored. I know we are. Yeah, we yeah, are. we're That's honored, we're honored. It wasn't desperate. I know. No, we're excited for the frosting. Okay. You can see yeah, they have vanilla ones. I just, I just, or you I know. mean vanilla and chocolate. I love now. when I did my fries. You can also frosty. do like a twist. I heard. Is that where you mix brown and white? It's called chocolate yeah. and vanilla, but yes. Oh, oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Tiffany got that. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, anyways, uh, the next question. Only one holiday surpasses Halloween in annual customer sales. What is it? Yeah, I know you're not going to get this. Obvious. Obvious. Christmas. How'd you get that, Jasper? Oh, that Most was popular really good. holiday of the year. I was going to say the 4th of July. That's now, certainly my favorite holiday. Now. Why? I love independence. I'm sure you do. We do love America. Now, you know, part of my community service, I told Tiffany that I would tell you guys that your Christmas gift. A bonus. For my family and my oh, children? Bonus. No, you get Christmas Eve off this year. Oh. oh. Well, I don't have Christmas Eve with my kids. Oh, well, I told I mean, you we're no contact with our children. They don't support or love us anymore. Oh, wait, so you don't want Christmas Eve off? Because we can, we can get ready for the tour I in mean, Miami. I mean, me and Jasper, me and Chester, <laughs> <laughs> and I just had a cough, I'm sorry. Oh, me and Chester um, might be spending uh, Christmas together. Yeah, but we year. are not gay. <laughs> We're all each other has at this point. Our wives left us. Our kids are no contact. So what else do we have to do? Maybe we'll call up Ashley. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's crazy because... Um, Did he tell you about Ashley, our new yoga instructor? No. She is a bombshell. Wait, yeah. is she... She, you know... She's uh, willing to out, oh, yes. You know. <sighs> you know. Chester. I'm getting the hang of this handshake now. You know I love them girls. We, we could, yeah, we could bring yeah. her on to do a, like a private with you if you... I would love a one-on-one -on -one with Ashley. Okay. Does she spell it with that? two E's, E Y I E? Do you know E's. what she did mention? It was she two did E's. it mention it multiple times. I think that was because you know I don't date. Chick. You know I don't date girls with uh, eyes in their name anymore. You know, ever since uh, yeah, Haley Bieber. Uh -huh. Oh uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. I do remember that. Haley doesn't have an eye in it. I, it just scares me. It actually does have an eye in it. So well, not um, this Haley Bieber allegedly. Jasper, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Tiffany's in my ear. Tell me that. Get to the next question. Um, question number eight: Bodyguard brains. How much did Americans spend on Halloween last year in 2023? $50 million. You're still not close, you dumbass. $50 million? I'm in all America? Go, I'm going to go with $280 million. You guys are literally not even $1 close. billion. Sixteen. Think about how much I make in a tour and triple it. Oh my gosh, so $300,000. Don't tell them the finances. <laughs> what did I, what did I, I say sorry, about sorry. fans? Do not listen to the net worth on Google. I promise it's not even close. I'm way more successful than that. The bad guy tour is doing amazing. We're we're really high in like in like Fort Lauderdale and Tampa and uh, uh, what's that? What's that one city with all the the, the, pr the pretty blondes with the big tits? But they're uh, really Nashville. religious, so I can't hook up with them. Uh, Utah. We're really popular in Salt Lake City. Um, uh, anyways, Americans spend on Halloween candy $12.2 billion. That's actually insane. Wow, that's insane. And this country has a serious problem. That's crazy. In this country, we got a serious problem. But in the club, we all fam. We are. <laughs> uh, I have a question for you, Justin. No reason. Um, if we were to get you a little Halloween gift this year, because, you know, you are our only family, um, the only person who is there for us in any form or fashion and any stretch of the <laughs> imagination, what is your favorite Halloween candy? He just said candy corn. And Sponsored by attention. candy corn. I love oh, candy I, corn so much. It's so delicious. I love the colors. I love the size. I love the shape. I love the texture. I love candy corn. Candy corn is meant for me. Justin James loves candy corn. That is so beautiful when you get into that falsetto. And, uh, that is stunning. And now I realize why you make so much money. Yeah. The yeah I'm sorry. You. The song in my soul just mm -hmm. sings so loud. And that's actually a preview, sneak peek. <laughs> I wasn't supposed we to show that. We actually have done a bit of singing out. too. We would love to showcase it. I was busy telling them about my new candy corn commercial. Oh, well, okay. But now sorry. since th since this is all about you. <laughs> oh, why don't you give us some singing? Well, I mean, we don't have to. Don't, why don't you sing? Why don't, don't you sing? sing? Why don't you sing? Don't make me sing. Why don't you sing my new hit single? Sing. <laughs> sing your favorite song of mine that you hear on tour every every oh, time yeah. backstage. Oh, I can't get that out of my head. Okay, and I'll try to harmonize it. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Why don't you go? Um, and why don't you tell the fans five, what your six, favorite song is? Five, six, seven, eight. 
And they say that is home, home for me. And we do something a bit in the lead. Say that is home. home. Jasper. That is beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. I mean, one of my favorites from Listen Justin. to that vibrato. Thank you. I've been practicing. I've been taking notes from the, the pro. One of my favorites is Life is Worth Living. Whoa. Whoa. I believe that was Justin Bieber. No, that's not. Oh. There, we have one line that's the same. Oh, His yeah. goes, Life is Worth Living. That was Ooh. really good. And mine goes, Life is Worth Living. Oh, oh, and, oh. and also tomorrow is also worth living. And everyone's worth songs. living. They're so and different. And life is awesome. And if you hear anything about a lawsuit about, you know, copyright infringement, it's, not it's true. false. It's false, right, Tiffany? It's dropping. It's true. Yeah. It's not they true. They dropped the charges. Uh. Anyways. Um, yeah. After, anyway, we, after we did a little, you know, under Anyways, the table work. So back to, yeah, because now we're also his financial investors, apparently, as No, well. no, no. We did some secret missions, remember? Right, right, right. I do remember that. Um, So go back to your, your uh, commercial. Sorry, yeah, sorry we interrupted with you. We just wanted to show off your new songs. I'm getting, I'm getting used to the interrupting. Um, but yeah, like I said, that little sneak peek you heard earlier is a new preview of a new candy corn commercial coming out. But if I wasn't, Sponsored by Candy Corn. Uh, I would say I probably love Kit Kats because who doesn't love that little commercial where they like break it? It's like break time, anytime. <laughs> yeah. That is just so good. I love it. I love the I love the sound of the you know, and then you eat one and then you have another stick and there's two. So it's like you got two candies in one. Yeah. True. And I've seen some different flavors of the Kit Kats as well. I, and maybe you know we what? Maybe we could get him a Kit Kat for his birthday. And maybe for Halloween. Yeah, or maybe we could catch a break sometime. <laughs> What do you think about that from our job? Well, uh, maybe, you know, a lunch break here or there. That, I'm just saying. You're you just know, being silly. I'm just being silly, though. Yeah, I think, we, I think we could make that could work if we nice. get, like, a lunch like to go. Yeah, maybe on the yeah. job we can eat lunch. Yeah, okay. You can, you can guard and eat a burger at the same time. I, uh, I've, 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 I've seen other yeah, bodyguards But we want to be it. all in on protecting you, Justin. We don't want to be distracted is like the problem. Like I said, family. Oh, I thought you wanted to do another arm since, wrestle. Since, uh, oh since this video is sponsored by Candy Corn, my favorite candy, um, the next question is, what was Candy Corn originally called? Disgusting wax. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. We're going to edit out the disgusting part and just keep the wax, okay? Watch it. <laughs> what the fuck's it called? <laughs> Let me <sighs> think. I think Candy Corn used to be called Candy Acorn. <laughs> Oh, that is true. It, it kind of does like an look acorn. like a little sc thing squirrel would put in there. A little cheek. I think layered goodness. They should change the name to that now. Anyways, it was called uh, Chicken Feed. What the hell? Okay. All right, next question, please. <laughs> what medieval English tradition inspired trick-or-treating? Uh, mm. The Black Plague? <laughs> no one survived that. Oh. Except well, for the rats. You repeat the question. <laughs> Where did trick-or-treat come from? What medieval English tradition inspired trick-or-treating? Maybe going around saying, please, sir, can I have some more? <laughs> Are you British? No, but Oliver Twist was. Who's Oliver? He? Well, I actually don't know. I've never seen that Are movie. Are you cheating on me with another pop star? No, never. No, There's no such thing not. as Oliver. I would never do that, Justin. I, I think... would literally. Is he the one that's going viral on TikTok right now? I would literally never do that. Hey, whoa, whoa, right. okay, I believe you. Sorry, it's okay. Sorry, sorry. I told you. I've Justin, been on some extra hey, supplements. It makes me X out. I told you he has a temper. But guess you what? You that temper comes it. in handy when, you know, <sighs> the girl's trying to grab getting... me. <laughs> I keep trying to... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, sorry to get distracted. The answer is, uh, on All Souls Day, the poor would go souling, knocking on door to doors and offering prayers for residents, deceased loved ones in exchange for food. To Wait, so kind of like what you're making your kids do, right? Go knock the door for food. <laughs> okay, we're not putting that in the podcast. No, 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 we're not. We're cutting that, Tiffany. Oh, okay, yeah. I think I'm not allowed to talk about your kids. He's yeah. just trying to get to you, Jasper. Don't I know let he's him get getting. To you. He is getting to me. <laughs> he's tearing me down and building you up. Listen, listen. We gotta have this job. We can't lose it. This I is know. The fifth job. This and month. you're right about that. And let me just. Okay. Yes, that's what I make my kids do. Jeez. Anyways, um, we'll get to the next question. Um, what Hold did back? Hold, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it, Jasper. <laughs> What did Scottish women hang to see their future husbands on Halloween? Their panties. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Can you imagine just going trick-or-treat and seeing panties all throughout the street? Would you oh, like that? God. We would never get to the tour. We'd never finish the tour. That would ruin the tour. Are you into that kind of stuff? Panties? 
<laughs> no. Anyways, um, what did Scottish women hang to see their future husbands on Halloween? Wet sheets in front of a fire. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Did it work? My, my ex-wife did something with a fire. Wasn't that, but <laughs> put a bunch of my stuff in there. Oh, that's the worst. She's yeah. She made me move out. She's the worst. I know. She's the and worst. Helen, she's my therapist said she has something. I'm forgetting what it was. Um she has something. Basically, she's completely in the wrong and I'm in the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's remember? called, I think, married to. Um, hmm. Isn't that just women? <laughs> yeah, 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 that's right. Oh, that's right, Justin. And that's you why know. we love you. I love the girls, but us. God damn, they are crazy. Am I right? Yeah, they are crazy. They're absolutely as... crazy. And that's why anyone you end up with, you will divorce them. So just keep, get ready. Yeah. <laughs> life is, you know, lo- life is not worth living, but marriage is not. <laughs> life is worth living. Sorry. Anyways, um, <laughs> who was the first first lady to decorate the White House? For Halloween. <gasps> I'm the first, first lady. Uh, Halloween. Michelle Obama. Nancy Reagan. Michelle Obama. <laughs> no, that's not correct. Um, um, who'd you Ms. say? Washington. Nancy Reagan? Yeah, Nancy Reagan. That's not. That's Was it like right. a long time ago? Um, you know, probably as old as you guys. Okay. 1958. Uh, that's when you were born, right? Uh, oh my God. Uh, what Miss Hillary Clinton? Uh, no. One Mammy Ms. Eisenhower. And yes, you heard that right. Her name was Mammy. Mammy. Mammy pretty, Eisenhower. Okay. I like I'm that. On my baby, my, my baby name list. You didn't have more kids? You never know. I can marry a hot young thing. She wants to have kids. I'm all for yeah, it. Your kids don't already Not have, my problem. They already don't talk to you. Well, that's more space for the new ones. All right. Yeah. Um, I mean, we can talk about this once we get off camera and we, you know, adjust our contracts. But I forgot to tell you guys when I hired you that also my girlfriend's pregnant and I'm going to need you guys to work on daycare as well. Okay. Oh um, gosh, Justin. You, you don't want this out, right? No, we're adding this out because I, my girlfriend, I don't say her name. Um, okay. Because there's multiple. Uh, one right. of them. So one of them. Yeah. Okay. You could probably, you know, it's the one that like I. Girlfriend really number two. I just feel, kind of feel bad for. Her. Girlfriend mm. number two. The one with her dad's a, got a lot of money. I, I yeah. wasn't gonna say that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't want the producers to know that because guess yeah. what? What do they call them? Nepotism babies. I like Tiffany, but I swear she's selling shit to TMZ. <gasps> yeah, that well, wasn't us. Yeah, and you guys know TMZ. They don't like me. They always make they me look bad. They pay good, but yeah, they no. pay good. No, How yeah. do you know that? Jack? No, we, we don't know. We that. don't know. Anything. We didn't know about that. We've never done that. We have never sold any of your personal information, any behind the scenes stuff. We we would never do that. Never in a million years could you catch us slipping. You're lucky. I believe you guys because you guys know you know what happened to John, right? The the last bodyguard. Uh, I don't recall. I've never heard. That's right. You don't recall. Hmm. Because guess what? Mm. Nobody's seen him. There ain't no trace, no evidence, no storyline. Mm. You're playing into the Halloween. <laughs> the Halloween spooky gotcha. thing. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. But that's really funny. Oh, uh, well, we're, don't worry. We'll be in our best behavior. Yeah. What famous magician died on Halloween? Oh, shiz. Is it, was it that it's fella spooky. Houdini? Oh, the first right answer. Yeah, I know a thing about Houdini, because I like to disappear from my Call family. Call me and I go. <laughs> Call away, you know, Houdini. What's that song about, Dula Peep? Dula Peep. I know, she's she's so far below on the charts below me, yeah. so I only know But didn't you hook it. up with her? Chester. Oh, like I'm I so said. sorry. I forget. I just want to make sure. Do you know sure what NDA stands for? Tell uh, me. Non- uh, Disclosure. Disclosure. Apprehensive agreement, you agreement. idiot. Agreement. That's right. Either would have worked with me. Don't See? disclose. I won't. See, he gives you so much grace. However, I'll tell if you. If I would have, was a great life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. If I would have messed up like that, he would have had my head on a stake. That's you know what? He dead. just expects more from you. <laughs> he expects more from you because you're smarter than me. <laughs> you said it, not me. And I'm really working on that. The next question in this dumb fucking interview. Tiffany, why'd you sign me up for this? <laughs> when is Halloween thought to have originated? Like what year? It's probably as old as your wife. <laughs> <laughs> You're right about that. Ex-wife. Um, I'm going to say 1799. 1620. 1540. There, there's a good, <laughs> there's, there's a good thing that you guys are so strong and good at being bodyguards. 1200. Yeah. But you guys are dumb as rocks. Oh. 4,000 B.C. Do you know what B.C. stands for? Before chin. (laughs) 
Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> These were before Chin from my friend, Jackie yeah. Rudetsky. <laughs> oh, yeah. The one that, that Kendall Jenner likes to copy. Yeah, I've she seen got- that. My daughter is obsessed with that. My daughter showed me something about a chin influencer once. It's how I knew. She, yeah. you know, I know Kendall very well. Mm. I think we all know that. We've seen her in the bus. Mm-hmm. NDA, no, though. No, we so, have not. No, we never seen her. NDA, though, so we can't really talk about it too much. But uh, we all know she copies JC. Of course she does. Yeah. I mean, that's a, that's a given. I, I even know Wait, that. isn't JC your daughter? No, no, no. She's my, my daughter's friend. Oh, oh, that's right. Okay. That's right. That's right. I've never met your daughter because... You have a restraining order. You can't see her. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. No right, contact right. with them. No contact. Right, right, right. So I don't know how I knew that information. <laughs> <laughs> Telepathically. You know, mm-hmm. you, you're so always connected. Mm-hmm. Anyways, where was the first citywide Halloween celebration in the United States? Salem. No. Yeah. Tiffany, are you sure these answers are correct? Because that sounds about right. That sounds like it should be. Yeah. You know, the witches. Oh, oh, oh. Someone's I mean, in bitches. my ear. Someone's in my ear. What? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Who is it? No. <laughs> Where'd they go? Who is it? Who is it? Who's done it? Who is it? False alarm, everyone. Oh, they said it's false alarm. False alarm, false alarm. Oh my god. I thought someone was coming to get you. <clears throat> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can cut out when my voice got really high, right? When I got scared. Okay. Jasper. What the hell was that? <laughs> I was trying to protect you. Thank you. And see, and this is what I'm talking about. You have no standards for Chester. He can do anything. He wipe your butt and you'd say thank you. Guess what? That was only one time where I asked him to wipe my butt. Because <laughs> it was really dirty and I had to go on stage and I didn't want it to get on my hand. That's all. That's everything. You know, I'll do anything for my clients. And it's not gay. And then me trying to protect your life. You, you know have no what? respect for me. You're right. Life you need to worth. get... Jasper, we already know it, it, you look like his dad oh who left him. Do. Okay, so he's it's a little, triggering for him. It's triggering. It's triggering. Just give him a for break, him. okay? Well, goodness gracious. And matter I, of fact, I ain't never met my dad. Jasper, it's me, honey. <laughs> <laughs> You're joking, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what does your mom oh look gosh. like? He's not okay. Oh, sorry. No questions about family. Okay, sorry. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Moving on. Moving that. on to more Halloween content. <laughs> Woo! Spooky. Talk about spooky. Talk about spooky and talk about Houdini. Your dad disappearing from your life. Justin, it's okay. You know. Um, I don't know if Tiffany told you, but after this, um, to conclude, we're gonna do a fight segment where I beat the shit out of you. <gasps> Jasper, no. I'd what like have to you see done? you try. What have and you I'd done? I'd like Jasper? to see you try. Anyways, anyways, Please. anyways. Um, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Legal reasons, allegedly. <sighs> I hate when there's tension amongst family. I, okay. Tiffany's in my ear saying that you guys are not really doing that well with the question. So we're going to kind of move on. And um, she wants me to just ask you some of your favorite things about Halloween. I know, you know, typically most people say it's about trick-or-treating with their parents. Like I just said, don't know my dad. You guys have no contact with your kids. So um, what's your favorite part about Halloween? Mine's oh, probably I like seeing women the gr- dressing I, up in b- bikinis. Well, that's what I was going to say. I like the costumes. Wink, wink. Mm, I like the parties. <sighs> Jasper, you ain't been invited to a Halloween party since 1999, and no, don't he, play with me. Oh, did he what not tell you? Think? I took him to, what you think? to Britney Spears' party two mm-hmm. years ago. I'm sorry. Uh, as a bodyguard, right? Or as a friend? Yeah. I, I need, a, pro- I need a protection. Yeah, yeah. yeah no. Okay. It was as a bodyguard. Don't worry. All right. Yeah, no, I'm going to put these on. No reason. I got some allergies. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The His allergies damn again. Emotions. Oh my god! I'm Even a- and you know what? You know what? It's okay for men to cry. And Justin taught me that with his music. Hey, I've never cried. <laughs> Except I when in I'm- your song, you said I cried about you that about was- the woman. That's only when I'm singing about women oh, okay. and them curves, bitch. Well, I just like to believe what you say in your music. I don't know about getting into. It's sexy when men are in touch with their emotions and emotionally intelligent and respect women. And I was trying to change my life about that. I heard that song. You said, respect all the women. And I said, oh my gosh, he's so right. I need to respect women because they are literally creators of life. You're right. I did write that. Um, you meant that, right? I, yeah, I, I wrote that. Okay, I wrote that, that myself. that really touched my heart down deep yeah, in yeah. my soul. Yeah. And it, uh, R-E-S-P-E-C. To the women. And wow, I love, I love when you hit that falsetto like Chester mentioned. And you have a special gift. You really do. 
You've really been catching on when you come with me to my voice lessons, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, what's happening now? I <laughs> whoa, thought, whoa. What? Why do you make whoa. it like that? It ain't gay. I thought he looked like your dad, so I'm getting weird vibes. Okay. okay. Just you stop, took it Chester, too far. And I told you. you, you she... Stop. This is why your kids don't want to talk to you anymore. Yeah, exactly. I don't even want to talk to you anymore. Guess what? I ain't getting you a twist frosty. You're only getting a chocolate mini. Well, <laughs> you know what? That's okay. I've learned to accept things, and I'm starting to feel like you don't mean what you say in your music. I'm starting to feel like you're a, f- a fraud. Oh, don't, don't say the F word. Uh, whoa, whoa, F-word. whoa, whoa, whoa. The F word? <laughs> what? The, the I'm F sick word. of this. Jasper, you're not happy either. Me and you talk about it all the time. You feel like he treats you like trash. I didn't say that. Trash. He said that. Who said I never that? said that. Jasper or Chester? What is it? I never said that. Okay. Um, That's please. not a mic, bitch. <laughs> I've heard enough. Okay. okay. Sorry, okay. Sorry, sorry. Wrap gonna... it up then. Jesus. We're, ah! jo- we're just joking. When we get we're back to the joking. bus. We're joking. We're joking. I don't have a belt, but I'm going to find one. Oh, my God. <laughs> I have one you can borrow. <laughs> oh, Tiffany, we should wrap up. Oh, okay. Um, anyways, fans. I love you so much. Please buy tickets to my bad guy tour. Wow, and that is really beautiful. And Justin's one of the greatest men we know, as you could clearly see in this interview. He is a gem. He is very thoughtful and loving. He treats his employees like family. His hair is totally naturally blonde. He's never been to a hairdresser. He never has ever done any highlights. I'm trying to read off the prompter. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. What does that say? I know, and I am too. It says he's natural at everything. He's never had any work done. Um, He wrote all his own music. And he performs, he does not lip sync when he performs, and he is only dating one woman who is not pregnant. Yeah, that is perfect. And thank you so much for the honor of being on your show. We love Thank you, Vogue. We love you. you. Thank you, Vogue. Vogue, that was Bodyguard Brains, and you've learned they have none. Signing off. (laughs) Chester and Jasper here. Make sure to follow our new Instagram account, Bodyguards by Chester and Jasper. Thank you very much. We also have a YouTube channel, and Ashley will be making an appearance, if you know what I mean. Wink, wink. We're not doing any type of self-promotion, but if you want to follow us, go ahead. It's at What We Said Podcast. I know it's a random name on on YouTube, but you can go watch that. It's too, it looks like two beautiful women, but um, there's we are in, been featured recently. Yeah, for some reason, and those girls uh, are hilarious and perfect. They are so perfect. Biggest beautiful. podcast in the world. If they were my daughters, I would still be talking to them. Honestly, me too. Great girls. Can't wait to check out Ashley and those titties you were telling me about. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Fans, I love you. Happy Halloween. Oh, life is worth a living. Guys, that was good. Bye.